Today, we're gonna to be reacting to a bunch of different photography related TikToks. So let's just jump right into it. Work hard, rest often. Hello and welcome, my name is Finn Badgley. If you're new around here, I'm a commercial photographer and all around content creator. And let's just watch some TikToks. Let's have a good time. And let's see if some of these are useful, funny, or just a waste of time. So I'm just gonna start by looking at photography and seeing what's up. Now, you get a lot of stuff like this where you see a lot of like, hey, I'm gonna photograph this random stranger whatever, that kind of thing going out on the street that's very popular on TikTok. So this is the first video, it stops this guy. It's a pretty cool outfit, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Um, starting a good conversation with him. So you know what, that, that I can vibe with. Got a nice backlit scenario, okay, okay. You know what? Okay, damn, I see you. No, okay, you know what? That was good. That was good. Those are some good photos. You know, sometimes things like this, you can be like, oh, is this faked, whatever. I don't care if it is, because uh, this the photos turned out dope, so. Now, this is an ad. Okay, let's see this. Three techniques to make you a better photographer. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can vibe with negative space. Also good if you're gonna put text on anything. Yeah, panning shots, gotta love them. Okay, okay, it's another good one. Now, here I would say hold the camera with two hands, but he's probably using the other hand to film with, so I can forgive that. Okay, putting some foreground in. Okay, you know what? I like it. Stop taking photos like this. Okay, get wider. Drop the exposure. Live. Oh, long exposure. Got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Not bad. Not bad. Also helpful at night if you want to do this. You can take it and then have a longer exposure, maybe set it up on a tripod and then you get those funky light trails. You can even do this on your phone like it just showed here. So maybe that's a fun thing to try. This looks like it might be in my city. This looks like the Flatiron Building or whatever it's called, Toronto's version of it. Um, okay, got an ambulance coming, gonna get some funky lights. Love the dog feature. Okay, you know what? Not bad. Not bad for a sick night photo. Okay, you know what? I actually follow this person. Her stuff is really great, so definitely check her out. Got some feathers blown in the air. Okay, I can vibe with it. Nice portrait vibes. We got a bit of speckled light on the background. I think these will turn out pretty good. Oh, yeah, that's dope. I didn't even know she was shooting video for it. Okay. I guess photo and video along the same time, but could, cool photos. Okay, we're taking some photos of some shoes. Okay. What are we doing? Doing like a one up type? Okay, no, we're taking it off. What's happening here? We're laying down. I am confused. I'm gonna get like a, okay, that might, might look interesting. Oh, you know what? Okay. <laughs> you know what? I did not think it was going to turn out that well. I fully expected it to... Yeah, no, I did not expect that at all. You know what? Okay, I'll give that one to you. It's a good way to take better photos of your shoes. You know what, I wanna change it up a bit. Let's look at some photography hacks while we're doing this. Cause some of these can get really funny. Okay, classic stocking trick. On a nifty 50, not bad.
Okay, you know what? Gives it that kind of vintagey vibe. I don't mind it. Every time I'm like, oh, maybe I don't have allergies, and then my allergies start acting up. So, um, okay, this actually looks kind of interesting so far. So let's see what we're doing. Got a light over top, nice plain white background. Oh, okay, nice way to get some nice highlights on it. You know what? I dig it. <laughs> this is the style of video that I do, where it's like, don't take photos like this, pose better. Okay, let's see what we got here. No, you don't want to do that. Okay, panorama. All right, this is a little different than what I usually do. All right, you know what? That's kind of dope. I'll give it to him. I will give it to him. Okay, what do we got here? Putting some clear film... Some type of like cellophane or something on the lens. Okay, doing like a Vaseline sort of thing. Thank you for not putting it directly on the lens like I've seen people do. Just don't do that. So, oh, but they didn't post any photos of it. That's, come on, you got to shoot with it. You got to shoot with it though. Come on. If you're going to put it on your camera and show it off as a hack, you got to post a couple photos. Just show the difference. Okay, let's see this one. Making your photos more dramatic. And then switching to portrait mode. Gotcha, okay. Now, better lighting. Before, okay, okay. When he's talking about better lighting, we can see here he's got more of a side light and he's got a little bit of an edge light going on. His face is in shadow, which makes it look more dramatic and cinematic. So is it better lighting? It's more dynamic, it's more dramatic lighting. Before he was lit, we can see he was a, lit, a little flatter. We still got a bit of side light going on here. But when he turns it around, we get more of that edge light coming in from the, from the window there. And it also provides a little bit of those shadows on the wall. Okay, darken it down. Okay, emphasize the dramatic effect. Nice. I like darkening down my iPhone photos personally as well. Nice, looking off camera. Okay, dope. You know what? I dig it, I dig it. We'll do one more and then I think we'll call it. All right, we got another phone photo idea. A little hack. Nah, we don't want that. No, okay. What do we want? Turn it upside down. Got you. Point it on the ground, turn it up. Get that low angle. Yeah, this is like, this is, yeah. This is what I always say, get lower. Emphasize that dramatic effect. Now this is a little more dramatic, but such a great look. Classic, classic, works every time. Um, you know what? I hope you enjoyed that. Just reacting to some different photography TikToks, a couple hacks, and let me know if you enjoyed this and want to see more of me reacting to these type of things. I can do a whole bunch, five minute crafts, TikToks, different photo videos in general, filmmaking, anything. Drop those suggestions down in the comments. Let me know if you liked this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell to be notified for all future videos. Work hard, rest off, and as always, my friends, I will see you on the next one. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh.